Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go. This is Valley News Live at 6. Canadian wildfires continue to burn with the air quality causing problems for some spots in the valley. Thanks for joining us and happy 4th of July. I'm Krista Bame. The haze is sticking around for your holiday celebrations, creating for some of the worst air quality in the country. 15 new fires sprung up just yesterday in Canada. And the air quality map from the Environmental Protection Agency shows areas of North Dakota, along with Minnesota, Lakes Country, has the most unhealthy air, which may cause issues if you're enjoying the fourth outdoors. And that's not the only concern in the valley as storms make their way through. And with that, let's go to meteorologist Lisa Green. Lisa? Yeah, that's for sure. We have an interesting 4th of July. First, the smoke, which is bringing down visibility, especially in Lakes area, as you just mentioned. Uh, not too terrible, though. We are seeing at least four mile of visibility. Not great to be breathing, though, out there tonight. And we do have that concern for some storms. Anywhere you see yellow on the map, that'd be the northern two-thirds of North Dakota, basically, under a slight risk, with some areas expanding beyond that. Areas in green, that's more marginal risk uh, through the morning hours tomorrow. So here's a look at our storms. We have severe thunderstorm warnings. Warnings, even a tornado warning in western parts of North Dakota. This whole line moving eastward tonight, uh, and we will be expecting to see this roll in. That means a chance for some thunderstorms happening during firework celebrations. And as you may notice, most likely in the Devil's Lake Basin where that line is expected to reach first. But we do have that one little area of rain in Stutzman County. So if you have plans to head out for some 4th of July celebrations tonight, perhaps going to Bonanzaville and West Fargo, those fireworks starting around dusk or right around 10 o'clock, a little later perhaps. We're going to be seeing those storms in the north and west, a smoky once again, temperatures in the 70s. And of course, you don't want to forget your bug spray if you're heading out tonight. Coming up, we'll have the latest on our chances for severe weather tonight and even into the day tomorrow to round out your holiday weekend. That'll be in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Lisa. Fargo police are looking for a man after a cab driver was cut in the face and robbed. The call came in around 2 p.m. near the 900 block of 43rd Street South. The cab driver told police the man refused to pay for his cab ride. Police say the suspect cut the cab driver with a sharp object stole an undisclosed amount of money, and ran. A perimeter was set up initially with a canine unit searching the area, but the suspect was not found, and the search was suspended. He is described as a black man wearing blue jeans and a dark blue shirt with a Cadillac emblem on it. Lakes Country is packed with people celebrating this weekend, and to make sure all goes well, all Becker County officers are out too. As you enjoy the water, 16 officers from the county and six additional officers from the Detroit Lakes Police Department will be watching. Police say the beach area is patrolled heavily throughout the holiday weekend. But so far, nothing of concern, they tell us. Last year, multiple fights broke out that got out of hand, a problem police do not want to see happen again this year. Booze sales are booming in the valley all this week. There has been a steady stream of people getting ready for the 4th. Happy Harry's off of 45th Street in Fargo says the big seller is beer. The store stocked up to prepare for one of its busiest holiday weekends of the year, even bringing in more employees to keep up with the demand. More than 3,000 people walk through the doors Thursday and Friday alone. Today's kind of a little bit of a breath of fresh air. Pretty much everyone is to their destinations already. Um, we're still cranking through a few people today, but uh, Thursday and Friday we really got people through. During last year's 4th of July week, Americans drank more than 39 million cases of beer. A tradition for many families every year on this day includes some old-fashioned fun at Bonanzaville. People lined the streets of the historic village to check out the annual parade that brought out some old-fashioned cars, too. The event this year is also raising money to bring in a church from Christine, North Dakota, to replace St. John's Church, which was destroyed by fire last summer. Enough money has been raised to move the church, and that's $53,000, an amount simply unreachable without the support from so many. Oh, I love, I love seeing all these folks out of Bonanza. All the hard work our staff puts into making this happen, it, it just wouldn't be the same unless these people all showed up today. $150,000 is the overall goal. If you would like to donate to help bring the church to Bonanzaville, We've posted the information on valleynewslive.com. 
Just click on this story. And for those of you who are looking to light some fireworks off on your own, a reminder that they are not allowed in many communities. They're illegal in Fargo city limits, and Moorhead allows only sparklers in town. In West Fargo, people can shoot off fireworks until midnight tonight. They're also allowed on New Year's Eve in West Fargo. And in Grand Forks, fireworks are prohibited within city limits. 239 years ago today, the original 13 colonies voted to leave Great Britain and form their own nation, approving and beginning to sign the Declaration of Independence. But did you know that? Valley News Team's Bradford Eric hit the streets of downtown Fargo this week to find out just how many people know the real meaning behind today. It's 1776. The rowdy colonists are ticked off over the increasing restrictions the British government keeps placing on them. They organize, decide to fight to form their own free nation. Two days later, July 4th. The Declaration of Independence is ratified. So, Nicholas, why do we celebrate the 4th of July? We celebrate the 4th of July because we want to celebrate and remember our announcement of independence from the British Empire. Okay, great answer, Nick. But you are a history major in college. Let's keep asking. We celebrate the 4th of July because it's Independence Day. Um, <clears throat> when the settlers defeated the um, England's army. Jerry said he had to think about it for a minute to make sure he wasn't thinking of the Civil War. That was kind of rusty, but... I still remember. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, um, I think everybody would pretty much remember. But would everybody remember why we celebrate? I was determined to find out. Why do we celebrate Independence Day? Independence from England. We wanted to be our own country, so we said enough is enough, and here we go. Do you know when or why the holiday was first established? Uh, no, I'm not sure, actually, I guess. <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh <laughs> I know it's because we got. It was because we got our. We won the war against Great Britain. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. So we. Because we won the war against Great Britain. It took you a second there, honest Abe. So most people seem to know why we celebrate. But what does this holiday mean to each of us? My ex-boyfriend is the one who puts a satellite in the sky. And this is what Independence Day is about. Some people I talked with say, unfortunately. This holiday gets lost in the shuffle. Kind of the same way I feel about Christmas, you know, and any other big holiday now. It's kind of turned into this, um, this kind of somewhat of a corporate type of thing. So when you're out blowing things up this weekend at your favorite family gathering place, just remember why you're there to celebrate. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. Speaking of fireworks, there are more beautiful displays set to go off in the Valley. Parking passes at Blue Stem are sold out for the 43rd annual MSUM celebrations. MSUM moved the activities to Blue Stem due to work on the Dragons football field. Parking is available at the soccer complex where shuttle buses will pick people up to go to Blue Stem. Activities there start at 7 with fireworks scheduled for 1030. And in Grand Forks, the 55th annual fireworks show will go off at 1030 tonight at the Town Square Farmers Market. The Detroit Lakes fireworks display will start at dusk on the beach of Big Detroit. And fireworks at Bonanzaville in West Fargo start at 10 p.m. And later on Valley News Live at 6, the crackles and bangs heard across the nation today can cause some anxiety, even for some pets. We'll show you a way that you can help relax while you celebrate. And we're in for a light show from Mother Nature tonight. Storms approaching parts of the western viewing area in the next couple of hours. I'll have details on when you can expect to see that bumpy weather coming up right after this.